graduated, I stayed at my college um, job for two additional years as a training manager for a franchisee of an Arby's Roast Beef. And after I gave notice, I moved home and took three months off. My mom was really excited to have me home for three months. Um, I was having a blast. Oh, there was lots of partying and staying out late and travel. And after two months, my mom said to me, and she was a wise woman, what exactly is plan B? In other words, it's time for you to get off your holiday and find a job. So I'd never traditionally looked for a job. I'm not even sure I had a full resume. Um, I, I'd never interviewed professionally, or I didn't know what that was, because I went right from a college job in. And so I was a bit of a loss. So I started talking to people and going through the want ads. Yes, there was a newspaper in the LA Times. Um, and then somebody said, you need to network. You need to network. So I started connecting back to my experience here at Cal Poly, to my advisors, to professors, and I started making inroads and using things that I had at my disposal but I didn't know I had. An advisor of mine from Rose Float, the then Director of Public Affairs, Ron Simons, um, said to me, look, I, got a, I, I know some people. At the time, he introduced me to the leader, one of the leaders in the hospitality industry, Mr. Al Levy. Now, some of you may know that name. Mr. Al Levy, along with Jim Collins, was one of the founding leaders of the Collins College. I was very lucky to have lunch with the man. It was a, it was an, a kind of an awe-inspiring moment. And I was a nervous Nelly. We, I met him down in Orange County at one of his restaurants. And I'd never had been interviewed for a job, but it was over lunch. It wasn't like in an office. It was over lunch. So I was like, okay trying to remember all my manners, act grown up, be calm. So as the food was delivered, I picked up the salt shaker. Mr. Levy stopped mid-sentence, and his next question out of his mouth is, do I always prejudge a situation? I was embarrassed and dumbstruck and tongue-tied. He asked me, how do I know my food needed salt? He proceeded to share what would be best for me to learn what I needed to know before I assumed the action to take. While embarrassing in the moment, it was momentous. And I've tried to remember this often. Don't prejudge. Take a breath and analyze. Look for the most of the information before I take the action. Needless to say, Mr. Levy didn't hire me. I didn't get that job. But I'm very grateful for the time that I spent with him and that he spent with me. The next lesson came very quickly after this one, like a week. Cattle feed and people dine. I applied and interviewed at the University of Southern California, dining services. On my second interview, got past the first interview, I didn't salt my food, um, I, I was meeting with the then executive director of hospitality, Mr. Gene Lawless. Sitting in his big office, he asked me why I wanted to work at USC. I stated that while I didn't have an institutional food service background, dot, 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 uh, he proceeded to kind of shift in his chair and interrupt me and said that cattle feed and people dine and that we're a dining and hospitality program. It was one of the best lessons I ever learned. Dining deserves hospitality, whether it's quick service corn dog stand, a college university food service, a hospital event, lodging clubs, restaurant, Disneyland resort, or the travel business. We're all in the hospitality business. Learning that lesson early in my career was pivotal. Cattle feed and people dine. Lucky enough, Gene did hire me. Yes! And I love my time at USC Dining. It started my career down a path that I wouldn't give up for the world. I was there three years. Um, I learned so much every single day. And then I was um, recruited to go to San Jose State University. About 25 years ago, um, I was the director at San Jose State University at Spartan Shops, which is very similar to the Kellogg Foundation here on this property. And I was in a position to be hiring a couple managers to work for me. And there were some good candidates, yet they were all different than each other. And I was struggling to pick the right ones. As I was reviewing the strengths and the weaknesses of each with my leader, Jerry Memna, they each popped to the top for different reasons. And Jerry looked at me straight in the eye and he said, hire your weakness. 
Surround yourself with people you can teach what you know and learn from for what you don't know. What an amazing concept. As you look at our industry, skill sets need to be broad. No one person can do it all or be best at it all. When we recognize our own frailties and each other's strengths, we can move mountains together. Surround yourself with people you can grow with. Hire your weakness. 35 years later, I can't imagine a more wonderful career, and it all started here at Cal Poly Pomona, at this college and in this program. But learning doesn't stop because you graduate. As you can see from the sampling of life lessons that I share with you, doing the work, don't prejudge, cattle feed and people dine, hire your weakness. Each of those individuals, notice I referenced their names, because each of those individuals shared a gift with me. They made an impression on me to be a better leader and a better person. Giving of themselves in itself was the fifth gift. You as well can give back. You can pay it forward in many ways as you move through your career. Be the best team player. Be a mentor. Be a volunteer. Be a donor. As you continue in your career, figure out ways you too can give it back and to pay it forward. Remember as you set forth on your journey, always be open to learning. It comes in the most surprising ways. And I will tell you, in many of those moments, I didn't realize I was learning. Trust me, there was no, there was no, aha, that's a moment. It wasn't a moment until later when I thought back on it. I am so excited for you all today. It has put me back in my place wearing this cap and gown proudly. I'm, I'm excited for each of you to move through your future. Celebrate tonight. Recognize the small moments. Be careful and be safe tonight. Okay. <laughs> Recognize the small moments. Learn every day and give back. Congratulations, class of 2018. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. I now call upon the University Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Sylvia Alva, to present the candidates for the master's degrees. Provost Alva? Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Hospitality Management please rise? <laughs> President Coley. I present to you the candidates for the Master of Science in Hospitality Management. These candidates have completed the requirements for the master's degree as prescribed by the State of California and the trustees of California State University, and they have been recommended for their degrees by the faculty of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. Candidates for the master's degree, you have heard the recommendation of the faculty of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. By the authority vested in me as president, I confer upon you the degree of Master's of Science in Hospitality Management with all the rights, honors, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations. Director of Graduate Studies, Dr. Neha Singh, and Department Chair, Dr. Eddie Mao, will have the honor of hooding our graduate students. Will the faculty please take your places in the aisle?
Miranda. Lester Martin Alfred Stewart.